Hey guys, Amateur IT Help here, and uh, today I'm just going to show you guys um, a quick video on how to be able to link to your video, I mean to your website, excuse me, uh, with annotations in your video. Um, so first you're going to want to click up here, and this is just one of my test accounts, you're going to want to click up here and go to settings, okay? All right. Now, once you get to settings, you see all these different uh, like account settings and channel settings. All right, you want to go down to uh, channel settings and then go to associated website. Okay. All right. So then you want to type in your website. All right. So and you want to do the full hyperlink as well, the HTTP um, or HTTPS, I guess, if you have an HTTPS website. So I'm just going to put mine in there right now. All right, and then add. Okay, and unfortunately, that is not all you have to do. It's uh, pending. So in order to associate this with this site, you must verify that you own it. So verify. All right, and um, once you click that, what it's gonna what's gonna ask you to do is uh, sign into Google Webmaster Tools. Okay. And your just your plain uh, Google account will be more than sufficient for that. All right. So and then it brings you to this page, Webmaster Central, and it says verify your ownership of whatever website you put in. Okay. And um, if you're like me and you do not know um, HTML, then you might have a, a slightly more difficult time. I mean, if you know HTML though then um, you just do the first option which is download the HTML verification file which is this and then upload it to your website um, and then you need to uh, visit this URL right here um, to make sure that to essentially confirm that uh, Google can find the HTML verification file on your website um, and to stay verified, you cannot remove the HTML code, unfortunately, which I guess that's really not that big of a deal, but you can't remove it, okay? And if you're like me and you have no idea where to begin with HTML, then you go to alternative methods, okay? Um, and you can use your Google Analytics or your domain, you sign into your domain name provider um, and basically follow the instructions that they give you. The method that I did was I used my Google Analytics um, ID uh, through my provider which is Wix and um, Wix is awesome by the way for making a website. It's extremely easy. You don't have to know any HTML. It's basically just click and drag um, and yeah I mean it's a really great website um, creation it's a website creation website, so yeah, um, and it's free, so you know you can make a website. Uh, you have limited bandwidth on the free version, which is you know fine, whatever. You know it's still cool. You know you can learn how to build it. Um, the editor is super super simple, and there's tons and tons and tons of videos. Wix has a whole series of videos that shows you how to do essentially anything you'd want to do. Um, the only problem is site security, which you know I mean if you're doing a site that needs to be highly secure um, you might want to look somewhere else but other than that it's more than adequate okay so anyways what I did was I used my Google Analytics I'm not actually going to continue just because it's just you know you, you just follow the prompts use your Google Analytics and then inside of Wix there's a um, a, a domain manager which has a, a, a box for you to copy and paste your Google Analytics ID. So that's how I did that. Again, if you know how to do HTML, then it should be a breeze for you. You just download and uh, and verify it, and then you're off to the races. Okay. So um, this video again is mainly just about um, just about how to actually find the uh, associated website ta website tab in YouTube. So again, one more time, you go up here to your settings or or to your to your drop down menu and then to settings. All right? And then down to the very bottom to channel settings. This is a relatively new feature, I believe. And you type in your website and then you verify it. And verifying is relatively easy. Like I said with Wix, um they actually have videos on their support forum that tell you 
how to do um, anything you need to do, which that's how I figured out how to do it for Wix. It was a bit, not not using HTML, it was a bit difficult, but, you know, it. I figured it out. It was easy. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out, believe me. So, anyways, guys, that was just a quick video, um, or this was just a quick video to show you how to have an associated website. Oh, before I do, before I go, though, I want to go to my video manager. Oh, actually, I'm not going to be able to do it, but I'll, I'll show you anyway. I'll go to my video manager, and then we'll just uh, click on that, and I'll show you how to... Okay, so we're going to add an annotation. All right, so we would... My internet's moving kind of slowly. We would add an, an annotation. All right, and you can pick whatever you want, whichever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do note. All right, and then we would do link, and then video. From video, we would do this list right here. Instead of being just video playlist channel subscribe or fundraising project, would also have associated website, um, and it would also I believe have Merck Merck website. I mean, like for instance, um, where if you had T-shirts or whatever. Um, so there would be an extra, an extra um, couple of options down here at the bottom. So you would just click on that, and then you would be able to post, paste, excuse me, paste your link into into this box right here, and then it would essentially function exactly like any other annotation. You know, start the time wherever you wanted to start, um, start end. Um, open link in new window, which I would highly recommend. I always, always, always recommend opening links in new windows. Um, because if you cut a video off in the middle, that actually, um, sort of, uh, it's sort of a negative as Google Analytics views it. So you don't want to be intentionally hurting yourself right there. So open link in a new window and, um, and yeah, that's basically it guys. So anyway, guys, this has been amateur IT help, uh, just showing you guys a little bit on how to verify a website with YouTube in order to have link annotations outside of YouTube, which is something YouTube does not allow unless you associate your website. So it's a really cool feature, um, really, really useful to direct traffic to your website. So you just might want to keep that in mind. And um, yeah, guys, so just, oh, real quick, just stay tuned. I'm going to be doing an entire series on how to do internet promotion. Um, I've got a couple of videos in the works right now, and I've got a whole lot more planned. Also, check out my blog, um, my WordPress, WordPress blog, excuse me, is on my channel page. Check that out, um, and for, for more information, I'm going to be doing a blog post on a whole bunch of different topics, um, and there's going to be links everywhere, you know, everything that I recommend to use, there's going to be links, there's going to be links to my own tutorial videos. It's going to be pretty cool, guys. So, anyway, <laughs> with no further ado, we'll just go ahead and end this video. Um, guys, this has been Amateur IT Help, and I will catch you next time.